Apparently I've bought some stuff over the last six months and uh, I thought I could show you that so I would do like half year hauls or something. Um, yeah, so this will be a video about what I've accum accumulated during the first half of 2022. So let's start with the coloring books. Uh, first up I bought a book I thought I would never buy, uh, <laughs> but I did anyway. <laughs> I bought Guldkorn by Hannah Carlson. It's a compilation book with 11 new motives. So I thought, I mean, I really like, yeah, where is he? This steampunk guy. Um, so I really wanted this book for him, but then also, I don't know. I just, one day after work, I stopped by the bookshop saw it looking at me, it called my name, I bought it. <laughs> I'm really happy with it, uh, with having it anyway. I have already completed a page in it, these owls, there's a video for them. And uh, yeah, don't regret that. <laughs> then I bought, also by Hannah Carlson, her newly released book, uh, Berättelser från Staden Blanchstjärnorna. So the tales from the city amongst the stars. And I uh, really like this one as well. Uh, it was a bit of like they had a printing issue here in Sweden. So a lot of their books were warped. Uh, at the first edition, you can see the first page there is a bit warped. But um, I got, I chose one that wasn't that bad and it was fine. And um, yeah, finished the nameplate page and I think I have stopped that one and did this one as a body color with the sassy colorist. So really like that one. Then I have The Welt under the Lupe Zolande, another book I thought I would never buy uh, because I felt I hadn't colored enough in my other Rita Bergman books, but then this happened anyway sort of sneaked up on my uh, Amazon list when I bought the rest of the books in this uh, pile. <laughs> yeah, but I've completed the page at least, so it's not on my color reward list, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> and next we have Magical Creatures. I think it's by Carlin Douglas. Here I've done two this far. These are a bit spooky images. So I've done this one, and I have done this one. I think I am the one responsible for having damaged it a bit in the corners here. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Then I have another one by him, or at least by the same publishing company, and I've colored this page. I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, and I really love these images. I love this one a lot. I've seen someone start it. Looked wonderful. But yeah. Next up we have My Secret Bookish Life. This one I'm a bit on the fence about. Liking or not. I really liked it when I saw it uh, online, but then when I have it in front of me I'm not that in love with it. Still, I will choose picture and color it. Right now nothing is colored here. But yeah. Next up, we have the mouse, ma uh, Matchstick Mouse series. Um, seen a lot of color tubers by these books because they're just so cute. And I have colored, I haven't colored anything in the Halloween one, but I have colored in the Christmas one. This one. It has a bit of water damage, but that's fine. And then I have colored in the autumn one. I have bought the summer one and I don't plan to buy it either. But uh, yeah, that's the autumn one. I think I've done another one maybe, or maybe not. Probably not. Okay. So yeah, then we have The Brothers Grimm by Forrest Diver. I have been wanting this book for years and years and now I have it and I'm happy <laughs> so like couldn't be happier uh, again a bit 
damaged corners up there. Yeah. Uh, but I have done, or at least started the page. I've started the Snow White page. Here we go. I've started her. Let's see how it is. If it's, it doesn't look like it's full yellow. Let's see. Living on the edge. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, The Brothers Grimm by Forrest Diver. And lastly, we've got Nature Mandalas by Cynthia Emerly. And I have been wanting this book for ages as well. I love the seeing some wonderful renditions of these mandalas. And the one I did is just simple. Just some alcohol markers. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of going in and shading, but we'll see. So those are the coloring books. Let's see how many that was. Ooh, it's a lot. <laughs> I thought I was being good this year. Uh, no, no, I didn't think that. Uh, as I've said before, this is the first year with the real pay, like being, yeah, and it's, uh, I have a lot, I have to get used to having a larger budget than I have as a student. Uh, in a responsible way <laughs> so we'll see but yeah so and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven books <clears throat> yeah but only one of them isn't colored right or two maybe two so i mean at least they've gotten some love look at that pile mm, yeah but again that's half a year that's fine uh, okay next up i'm thinking we could do the gel pens I have lying around here at the same time as I bought the um, uh, one of my Amazon hauls I don't remember which one I bought the Pendle hybrid dual metallic let's see hybrid dual metallic pens yeah uh, set of seven apparently Lovely gel pens. I bet you've seen them already, um, but I thought I could compare them to these ones. These ones I bought like last week. Yeah, let's see if I can pull out some paper here. Come on. Yeah, these ones I bought last week. They're like called zebra, apparently. Doodlers glitter. I found them at Academy Book Handling. These were bought on Amazon. Academy Book Handling is like a Swedish bookshop uh, brand. Um, and these are quite nice. They're really glittery. So if we compare... Let's see, two more. If we compare that with the hybrid... Yeah, the hybrid is a lot juicier coming out of the pen, but they're both nice. There's a lot of glitter. The hybrid is a lot more liquid, you can see. But yeah, I like both of these and I like, like, if I go for glitter gel pens, or if I go for gel pens, I usually want to go for glitter gel pens. Uh, because, uh, yeah. Normal gel, gel pens, then I can as well go for water-based markers, is my thinking. But that's those. Let's put these back in their holder here. And then I have a few replacement water-based markers. I have four Tombows and two pit pens, Faber-Castell pit pens, and two Koi brush markers. And these are, uh, these blue colors are colors I know I run out of a lot. Green colors I also know I run out of a lot all the time. Same for grays, especially light grays. Um, and then I bought a pink one. It's like, because it's hard to get the light, light pink one that could go for light flesh. It's really, really uh, pale, uh, but it's nice for a base coat if you want that. And then I bought a brown. 
because you can't have enough browns. <laughs> or I can't have enough browns at least. Uh, then we have, what more do we have here? Let me put away the coloring books. Okay, next up, let's go for these bulky stuff. Yeah, so I have bought myself a cupboard. I don't know if you've seen me <laughs> struggling during my journaling videos about like uh, trying to cut things straight. Now I have something that can help me with that. I don't really, I'm not bothered that much by having a bit of wonky stuff in my journal setups, but it's, I'm happy with this. The times I want something straight, it's nice to have this. Then I bought myself the Lyra pencil sharpener. So this is mechanical and I like it. Uh, but I also am a person who doesn't really care about the sharpener leaving marks on my pencils. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. They're like indents in the paint job uh, due to when you do like this, when it grabs the paint there, when it grabs the pen, it leaves marks. And as I said, I'm fine with that. I use my pencils, I, or like my, my mentality is that pencils and books and uh, journals and paper and whatever, they're meant to be used. Uh, the same like books are meant to be read. Uh, so if, yeah, <laughs> I'm not that particular with keeping things pristine. Uh, but if you are, then this is probably not for you. These teeth down in here are a bit too bitey. <laughs> but otherwise it's really nice. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Uh, next up we have the Durvent Eraser, which I've talked so much about now that I feel like I'm going hoarse with it. But if you are on the fence about buying a, like a small eraser like this, and that's a, either electric kernel, yeah, it's, this is one is battery, you put in batteries, but you have ones that are like, you can charge them directly. Uh, they still have batteries, obviously, but okay, let's not get into it. Uh, but yeah, and then some refills, they came with the eraser. I'm in love. Uh, then I'll go 10 and buy again. Uh, next, I have bought some more. My favorite sticky notes were on sale. Uh, so these are clear sticky notes. Uh, they basically, you can see here, they're like, they're clear. And uh, I, I love using them for my collage pieces. So that's always nice. They were on sale, as I said, so I bought a few. Um, yeah, okay. Next up, another thing I couldn't walk by were the, these. These are the Faber-Castell, uh, Faber-Castell uh, <laughs> pastel pencils. Uh, let me zoom out again. I don't know if I kept the tin. Probably not. Um, but I've already used these a bit. And uh, I like them. I probably, I, I seldomly choose pastel colors for my colorings, but uh, now I have the option to do that. <laughs> so yeah. Those were nice. All right, I think that those are the main things that are coloring related. Let me check so I haven't forgotten anything. Mm, I did forget the thing. I forgot the pride and glory of this month. It's the, these babies. Let me see, zoom out. Probably raise you up. Ta-da! 
I have got my first really ginormous set of markers. They are so many. I have swatched them out. I like sorted them in the way I would want to have them in this box and then swatched them uh, so that they hang together. Unfortunately, the paper is a bit, yeah, this is not optimal, but they are so pretty. These are the Pandura color marker. Yeah, the Pandura color marker. Pandura is a Swedish um, hobby shop. Might be a Nordic hobby shop, like I don't know if they're actually Swedish, but uh, I, won't, I haven't seen them in Slovenia, for example. So, um, but yeah. Love these, they're so nice. I'm so happy to have them. Like the, how I've done before is I've had a few, this is my bundle of greens. I've had like, I bought a few, uh, what's it called? Mm, single Windsor and Newton markers. I had a few, this is uh, Sharpies, right? Or it, uh, it's Pandura again, it's like a, but it looks like a Sharpie. It works like a Sharpie, it operates like a Sharpie. Um, and then I had a set of like, and I think I had like maybe a set of 10 of these Sharpies and a set of um, I want to say 30 at Libris markers. These are again a budget Swedish brand, but it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same as having a whole bag of like 120 or something. I don't remember how many it was, but a lot. You can see my face right now, but I'm smiling like Gollum when he gets the ring, sort of. Okay. Yeah. Love these. And they're like in this wonderful bag, and I'm just so happy. There we go. Ah, next up my comes my real guilty pleasure when it comes to purchasing things. So prepare yourselves. It's journals, everyone. It's journals. Yeah. And notebooks. I can't walk by a good notebook. Uh, but yeah, let's start with these small things here. Okay, I'm trying to make space for myself. So I bought a set of three of these really, really small notebooks at TGR. Uh, it's like a Danish shop with a lot of small trinkets. And like, these are so, so tiny. And I've already finished one. I gave one away. Uh, this one is finished. It's falling apart, so it's not that good quality. Um, it's not sewn together or anything. Like the pages are falling out. You can see here. Ah, <laughs> but it's stick together with a bit of washi there. So hopefully if I don't touch it too much, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's, um, yeah, that's a bit of a risk. Um, but this one is uh, still, I will probably start that one. Then I bought this set of uh, journals in Klaus Olsson, another Swedish shop. Um, and they are a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> uh, and I've already started one uh, with just a few. Uh, pages, this one is done, and then I have another finished page somewhere, this one. And I'm going to be doing all houses in here, so all pieces are, uh, or all pages will start out like something like this with different houses. Uh, so yeah, really happy about these, and these are sewn together and look like they are probably good quality. So. Uh, Hoping. Close <laughs> uh, Olsson, if you're in Sweden. Um, where, where to? Where to? Okay, here we have two more Close Olsson notebooks. These I won't be using for art. They are just dot grid journals. I use these for my work. And I bought two of the same because I've already 
um, run out of one. And of course, um, I wouldn't need, I don't really need to buy journals for using at work, but I prefer you working in good quality journals. And I mean, it's not as if it costs that much. Yeah, whatever. Uh, next up, my, I'm weak. I'm weak when it comes to, what are these? They are the, what's it called? Paper, paper blanks. I'm weak when it comes to paper blanks. I really don't, um, probably don't need this, but then again, I do. <laughs> So I bought uh, one, yeah, they've, they've started doing ones with better paper. I think this is like 120 GSM. I've done some testing here. It's not really optimal for watercolors, obviously, but it does hold up rather well and it didn't bleed through, buckled a bit. So I'm thinking, I don't really know what I will use this one for, but it will get used. And then we have this one I got for Christmas. This is not new. Haha, <laughs> this is not part of the whole <laughs> haul. Oh, next up, but these ones I did buy. Yeah, it's blending together a bit. Christmas gifts and this. Mm. Either way, I I'm trying. Uh, but yeah, this one is a wonderful, wonderful paper blanks book. Um, it's dot grid. It's like a bullet journal, it's numbered pages, it's kind of thin paper, I don't remember what the paper weight is, probably a hundred GSM maybe, I would guess, mm, doesn't say anything here, yeah, but there's like an index here at the beginning, I, I just, I mean, I couldn't resist. So pretty. I don't know what I will be doing in it though. We'll see. This one is also really pretty. This one has uh, blank pages. So I probably had like a plan when I bought it. I don't anymore. <laughs> it's uh, again kind of, I mean it's good quality paper but it's not uh, really it's not like 120 or 30 or 50 GSM. It's a bit, a bit thinner. Uh, but yeah, it's so pretty. And then I bought this ginormous one. It's so big. And here I want to do collage. Uh, I want to do big collage pieces here. Um, so something like what I've done in these small ones, but on a bigger scale. And it's probably a similar plan to what I have in this one. I mean, it's a bit, it will, it will bulk them up, right? That's the main issue or like, but then again, as I said, journals are meant to be used. And if it bulks up, that's, maybe that was its reason to live or something, I don't know. Yeah, either way. Then I have two sketchbooks by Sakura. I bought this at the Academy of and I, one is in all black paper and one is in all white paper or cream. And uh, yeah, these are really good paper though. These are like 150 or something, I would say. I would guess. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, and they have like, so you can put a pen. Lovely, lovely. I have done one thing in here. There is nothing I would really share. Um, yep, then one of my favorite notebooks that I use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot is my, uh, this one. This was also bought at Panduro. Um, Okay, it's Panduro design. Yeah, okay, same here. Okay, so, but this one I use a lot. It's black paper again, but it's dot grid. And I use it for my, let's see if I can find a page that I don't need to censor. 
Uh, okay, this is the least controversial spread I can find. <laughs> but it's like mind bubbles around different themes, both related to my life specifically or to just random things. And I like having a dot grid for that. And I also like um, having a lot of large book for this. And I'm not sure if I want to buy another one exactly like this when this one runs out. I'm not <laughs> risking running out right yet. But I am almost halfway now. Yeah. I am. This is full. And this is empty still. So, um, yeah, halfway. But either way, I found this one in the same series. It's like the same size, but it's not uh, black. Uh, it's a bit thinner and it's uh, in like this really creamy paper. Um, that's uh, another thing I've noticed by my, of myself. Like, So this is a normal cream paper. It's a bit lighter than this one. See, this one is a bit more gray. Uh, the paper is really thin though. It's not in the black one. In the black one it's really nice. Um, so, don't really know. But I mean, these are rather cheap, uh, at least compared to the paper blanks. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just couldn't resist. Uh, so I bought that. Um, and then at TGR as well, I found this huge bullet planner, as it's called. It's yeah, it's it's as big as this big paper blank, so it's an A4 size sort of, and uh, it's oh I've already written something in it. I don't even know what. Huh. Okay, yeah, I've already started this one <laughs> with just random thoughts, but um, and it's actually coloring related, so I'm <laughs> censoring that <laughs> or like YouTube channel related. But uh, yeah, this is uh, just dot grid. I prefer dot grid to line now. Like overall, I like writing on dot grid more than I do on lined books. It's more freedom and also like makes me write smaller. I have a tendency to write really big otherwise. The last two things here are my replacement for my current bullet journal. I have actually, I will need to move bullet journals next month uh, in August because I am I have three more pages in this one it's a bit scary because I really like how this one came out uh, so I really feel um, yeah it's a bit scary and I was thinking uh, I have earlier used the uh, Archer and Olive notebooks they have like really white paper but this one has more cream paper see if I can find a blank page here. See, it's more cream. And I actually prefer this a lot more. So, so I thought I wouldn't go for Archer and Olive. And since I like this one so much, I just bought a replacement copy. And I <laughs> started decorating it. And let me just put something over my name. There we go. So I started decorating it with Moomin and uh, these purple things. But like compared to the style I went for in this journal that I like a lot more, uh, it's a lot more in your face. Well, this one is just more calm, I feel like. So. I don't know. I just wasn't too happy about that. Uh, I won't be throwing this away, obviously. I will either use it for something else or cover that up. It's not as if I can't do that. But I did, however, buy another new one. So this is the bullet journal that I'm using. It's the uh, Lectrum, uh, Lectrum 1917 Bullet Journal Edition 2. Um, and I can open it here with you, actually, so you can see how it comes. Um, 
I'm guessing you can buy this online. Uh, I bought it at Akademibokhandeln. Here we go. So it comes with the band, keeping it together, some promotion material. There are, there is a guide here also. Let me just take this off. There we go. Um, so it comes with a bit of promotion material here about Lectrum. Yeah, I actually use this page in uh, some of my journaling spreads. Uh, I like that. Play with light there. A little thank you note. Um, and then the, it says here like there's a dot grid guide in the book, the page dividers, how they work. And uh, there's some info about uh, courses and articles and blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, you don't need anything of this, but I mean, if you want to, of course. Um, there's also some uh, stickers included. I'll show them in a second. And a few more other things. And it's sustainability sourced. Oh. Um, yeah. The stickers that it comes with are these. Yeah. So you get the numbers from 1 to 31. If you want to have like a vertical, uh, vertical month. Uh, same goes for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What's that? Names of the days in the week and it comes with these really nice shiny uh, names of the months there and how I use them in my old bullet journal is I use the uh, the names of the months I use them here in the uh, um, my future log and the months or like the dates printed downwards those stickers uh, again with the months again over there i use those for tracking my uh, period and health and the moon the moon is just a good thing to keep uh, or it's easier for me at least to remember like okay my period usually comes at the full moon or whatever uh, since it's based on the moon uh, but yeah or like it follows the same cycle uh, either way um, it also comes with this then bullet journal notebook with some information with uh, yeah, you know just some information that I totally didn't read um, but you might want to and that's totally fine uh, so that and then it also comes with um, so yeah this is the first page then we have the grid guide. Uh, let me zoom you in a bit. Yeah, you have the grid guide. So these, the number of dots here corresponds to the number of dots of, on a normal page. Um, and then it has the intro pages. It has three big bookmarks. I managed to cut one of my three ones in the old one. <laughs> so I only have two right now. Uh, I won't do the same mistake. Um, on each page, then, when you come into the actual bullet journal pages, it's like marked where the middle is, uh, with two dots there. I don't know if you can see that. There, there's two dots, and then there's three dots here for where the thirds of the pages are. So that makes it easier to like divide the page up. Same goes for the vertical uh, division. Uh, and then it has the things I don't like are they give you the key already written in and here in the beginning they have like intentions written and then it says index and then it says future log and I just covered all of that in my old bullet journal with a washi tape in the top there so I could do my own thing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really happy about, I guess, having two replacement copies. 
I will see if I decide to go with the one that I have already started or if I decide to go for another thing. But um, yeah, that's everything I've accumulated. Um, or actually, okay, this is not officially like... I mean, I guess it's part of the things I accumulate during half a year, but... Because this still also costs money, right? Magazines. Uh, that's the main way I get my collage bits. So I have some uh, women's magazine here. Uh, this is actually a new sort of buy for me. I don't usually go for uh, clothing magazines. But I mean this piece here and some... Yeah, mm, I don't know. I usually go for interior designs. But I thought I, I was sort of missing a few of... Uh, I wanted to do a thing with skirts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it works in my brain. <laughs> but yeah, this is the same kind of magazine. Um, we'll see what I can do with this. Yeah, and then, yeah, then we have a uh, decoration. This is more my kind of stuff. And I've already started pulling some pages apart, but um, like things like this, I use stuff like that all the time you know this little piece here that could be one piece here also like yeah I see one piece here and then I see one piece this piece like that yeah so that and then this was a traveling one that I've already started taking apart. It has some beautiful places. Yeah. And then, yeah, then we went to Bauhaus. To, uh, and I, I, like, I like their uh, commercial magazines. I always pick a few, they have it like uh, for free, you know, to pick up. So like, for example, this piece here, using the floor, uh, like that piece, and that piece as well, I would probably use. And this is how I get my like textures of stones, and uh, here you have a lot of wood, obviously. So uh, yeah, those are nice, they always have a few. Here you have a lot of wood there on the floor. Uh, and I mean, you can buy also in packs, paper packs online, like tex wood texture paper, but you can get these magazines for free. So, yeah. And they're a bit more special. Um, yeah, so a few more of those. Here's uh, one that I've already taken apart. I need to use these bits as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, these were the pieces I wanted to keep. So that's, and now, that is finally the end of my mid-year haul 2022. <laughs> I'm looking around at my little place here. I'm thinking of having to put up more shelves so I can uh, make space for everything. But uh, if there's place in the heart, there's place in the place as well. I don't know. Either way. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye!